Breaking news, look at this. A Fresno woman is recovering after this dramatic rescue. We are live with this delicate rescue operation. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken Malloy. And I'm Evie Ramos. We're following this breaking news. It all stems from a car crash that happened around 3 o'clock on McKinley Avenue near West Avenue. CBS 47's Tony Body is live at the scene with details. Tony? Well, guys, quite a mess to clean up out here, and the best thing to do is just let the pictures tell the story, and then I'll fill in the gaps from there. Now, of course, you can see this SUV that's in your background that's tipped on its side. That belonged to the woman who is the victim in this case. Now, she was parked right here in her own driveway, minding her business, unloading some groceries, when suddenly this Lincoln Town car that you see here in the foreground, for some reason, the man on the car veered off of McKinley and crashed into her and into her SUV, flipping it on its side and causing the woman to get trapped inside. Now, firefighters arriving on the scene only saw her feet dangling from the vehicle and they automatically thought the worst, but then they discovered she was actually okay. So in order to get her out, crews were gonna have to lift up the SUV. Now, the way that they did that is they tied some supports to a nearby tree and after 24 minutes, firefighters were able to safely remove her and paramedics took her off to the hospital. Now, one rescuer says she barely missed getting pinned between a fence and her vehicle, so her life was literally spared by a matter of inches. If she would have had those groceries a little bit more outside of that car, that's exactly what it would have happened, and she'd been crushed. So, I mean, it's just one of those things. I mean, count your blessings, because you never know. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen, and she's really fortunate. Everything went right for her in, in sort of a bizarre way. Now, the man in the Lincoln town car who caused the crash, he ran from the scene, so police are still looking for him. Investigators, they found an empty gun holster tucked between his seats, so they're going to be running his plates to try and find out exactly who he is. Let's bring it back out live for you here. we got a tow truck that's just pulling up to take the suspect's vehicle out of here. On the other side, you have a gentleman with the Crime Scene Bureau. He's been dusting this for fingerprints, trying to narrow down who this man is. I want to fill you in on traffic. If you're going westbound on McKinley, you're not going to be impacted by all of this, but if you're going eastbound, you are going to hit some tie-ups between Fruit and West, so you'll just have to dive in between some neighborhoods to get around this incident here on McKinley. Live in Fresno, Tony Body, CBS 47 on your side. Very